The Aero Mobile 3.0 the Aeromobile is a Slovak prototype rotable aircraft, designed by Stefan Klein. As a car it fits into any standard parking space, uses regular gasoline, and can be used in road traffic just like any other car. As a plane it can use any airport in the world, but can also take off and land using any grass strip or paved surface just a few hundred meters long. The version 2.5 proof of concept took 20 years to develop, and version 3.0 was introduced at the Pioneers Festival 2014 in Vienna, Austria. In specs, the vehicle is quite impressive. It comes with a top speed in the air of 124 miles per hour and a range of up to 430 miles, while on road it's able to reach a top speed of 100 miles per hour with a range of 540 miles. PAL V1 The PAL V1 is a two-seat hybrid car and gyroplane that can handle daily driver duties and convert at an airfield for flight. On the ground the PAL V1 drives with the agility of a motorcycle thanks to its three wheels and patented tilting system, accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 8 seconds, while reaching a top speed of 112 miles per hour. In just minutes, the vehicle can be transformed into a gyrocopter, flying at altitudes of about 4,000 feet, which is the airspace available for uncontrolled visual flight rules traffic, so you never have to worry about getting in the way of commercial air traffic. Fugit Transition The Terrafugit Transition is the perfect vehicle for those who simply want to fly somewhere, land wherever they choose, and then continue the final part of the journey on the roads, not having to put up with check-in or any of the other negatives associated with airlines. It is planned to have a flight range of 787 kilometers and a cruising flight speed of 107 miles per hour. On the road, it can drive up to 70 miles per hour. However, being the ultra nice vehicle that it is, you shouldn't have been expecting it to be cheap. The transition comes at $279,000. Terrafugia TFX On May 7, 2013, Terrafugia announced the successor of transition, called the TFX. It's a plug in hybrid tilt rotor vehicle. Terrafugia is hoping a prototype will be ready to fly by 2018 and it will go on general sale within eight years. The TFX car has fold-out wings with twin electric motors attached to each end. These motors allow the TFX to move from a vertical to a horizontal position and will be powered by a 300-horsepower engine. Thrust will be provided by a ducted fan, and the vehicle will have a cruising speed of 200 miles per hour. ...and uses small-scale airplane engines mounted to each side that provides upward thrust. These engines mix ambient air with their exhaust gases to bring temperatures down to a comfortably warm airstream that can keep users floating in the air. David Mayman, the Australian inventor of JB9, debuted his device by flying it over the Hudson River and around the iconic New York landmark. On the left hand, I've got a twist grip controlling yaw, says Mayman. If I turn my hand to the left, I spin to the left. You'll see some little yaw veins at the bottom of each engine, a little cup that tilts backward and forward. To go forward or backwards, which requires pitch, effectively what I'm doing is pushing both handles down. That'll make me go forward. With JB9, you can take off and land from absolutely vertical. You can get an initial climb rate of 500 to 1000 feet a minute and a speed of 60 miles per hour. So if you can imagine walking out your front door and being able to take off from your porch, it can be real today. But pilot David Mayman and creator Nelson Taylor went further. In 2016, he presented the new Jetpack JB10. David Mayman, the Australian pilot of the JB9, debuted his new JB10 by flying it over the Principality of Monaco. Powered with two engines that produce more than 1,000 horsepowers, the new device can gain the horizontal speed of up to 120 miles per hour. JB10 can stay airborne for 15 to 20 minutes and reach altitudes of over 10,000 feet. Unbelievable for a device of the future. Unsurprisingly, all this gyroscopically balanced truck-sized vector thruster technology isn't cheap. 
Jetpack Aviation plans to start selling the JB-10 in 2019, but to get your hands on one, you'll need to shell out about $250,000. Amazing real-life Iron Man suit that actually flies! Meet Richard M. Browning, the ex-soldier who's created an amazing working jetpack. What's it like to fly in a real-life Iron Man suit? According to the inventor of this incredible working prototype, it's like riding a bicycle in three dimensions. 38-year-old Browning has developed the suit in his garage in Salisbury over the past 10 months. Propulsion comes from six miniature jet engines, similar to those used in jet-powered model airplanes, which are mounted on the arms and the lower back. The suit can fly in most locations, Richard says. Despite being capable of flying at several hundred miles per hour and at thousands of feet, Browning is currently exercising a bit of restraint. Besides, flying like Tony Stark is not as simple as just strapping yourself in and jetting off. The suit requires an enormous amount of physical effort to control. Even for Browning, a dedicated triathlete, in order to fly, he must follow a strenuous workout regime. In a typical week's training, he cycles over 150 kilometers. He also runs 40 kilometers every Saturday morning, so it's really hard to be an Ironman.